Revival of cells from frozen. Cells are often stored and transported in a frozen state and must be thawed to generate a culture. Thaw cells correctly in order to maintain the viability of the culture and enable quick recovery. This is a typical thawing procedure. Remember, work quickly but safely. Check the cell line data sheets and ensure you have the correct medium ready. Aliquot medium into usable volumes to prevent repeated heating and cooling and to minimize contamination risks. Warm the medium in the water bath. Having put on the correct PPE, collect an ampoule of cells from the liquid nitrogen storage and transfer to the laboratory in a container of liquid nitrogen or on dry ice. Always record the removal details in the cell bank records. Remove the ampoule from the container and place it in a water bath set at 37 degrees centigrade. Do not use the incubator to thaw out the cells as this method is too slow and will adversely affect the viability. Avoid getting water near the cap, which is a potential contamination route, by only covering the lower half of the vial. As soon as there are no ice crystals remaining, remove the vial from the water bath. Wipe vial with 70% alcohol solution and transfer it to the safety cabinet. Add the cell suspension into a pre-warmed growth medium in the flasks to dilute out the cells. You only need to centrifuge thawed cells and disperse in fresh media if the cryoprotectant is known to have an adverse effect. Take sample of culture to count cells. Determine you have sufficient concentration for growth greater than minimum seeding density. Transfer cells to incubator. Examine the cells microscopically after 24 hours and subculture as necessary. Section 5.